How then, YouTube? I am the Toff Man, and welcome back. This is episode 7 of my Minecraft 1.2.5 Let's Play. And I have got an absolute bunch of rubbish in my inventory. Uh, what I want to do today is get everything that in these pipes. I want to get everything sorted. I want to get the whole lot of this system sorted out. Um, I'm also going to want to possibly get some sort of provider pipe, maybe through this wall here. So all I have to do is click on it with my bullcraft wrench and um, get any item that I would like from any kind of chest anywhere on the network. First of all, I'm going to need a bullcraft um, a bullcraft thing in my pop, and we all know what one of them is a bullcraft wrench. And if I remember right, and I'm going to go, you know, I'm just going off on a on a on a whim on this one. I think it's this. Yes, I'm right. I'm right. Good stuff. Um, um, hmm. There. Right. Bullcraft wrench. Lovely. What I want to create, the first thing that I would like to create is the quick sort module, which goes in the first chest, my input chest. I need one diamond gear for this, but first I'm going to need these blank modules crafted like so. Six bits of paper with two bits of redstone and a golden nugget. And I do, oh yes, I do have the gold on me. Yes. See, I am prepared. I do come prepared sometimes. Um, that was, you know, intentional, of course. Let's put that there. And let's get that there. I'm going to need quite a few of these modules, so I'm going to want to create as many as I can. Uh, three. <laughs> three. That was, that was nice. I d um, um, what am I missing? Paper. Is it paper? Yes, it is. Right, I brought my uh, transmutation table down here with me because I fully believe that uh, I'm going to get more use out of it when I'm down here. Where's my paper gone? It, it definitely came into my inventory, I'm sure it did. Uh, I, I can't see this. Uh, I. Did I click on. Did I. Did I did I click back on iron ingots? See, I'm definitely getting paper. I just don't know where it's going. Let me just sort some stuff out. Go powder in there. Spider eye to go the rest. String, bones. Even though they're able to go in the archaeology thing. Never mind. Um, where are you going, paper? It was definitely going somewhere. I don't know where, but it was going somewhere. I wonder if... Hang on a second. No. It wasn't going under there. That's, uh, that, that's a shame, but never mind. I can live without it. I'm going to need a lot of these. A real, real lot of these. Uh, let's craft as many as I can. Including that last one there. Nine blank modules. Um, no, I'm going to need more than that. Right, yeah, bear with me a second, I'll be back when I've got enough stuff. Okay, so I've got 19 blank modules. I think that might be enough just for the, uh, just for the minute. If we look at the quick sort module, we need four lapis, three redstone around the blank module, and a diamond gear. Let's make the diamond gear first. So there's one. Oh, let's put that back in there. Wooden gear. To stone. To iron, to gold, and I don't have any gold. Thank you. Gold. I used it all on golden nuggets. Diamond, and diamond gear. Black module. Redstone in that formation. Uh, lapis, which is in the precious items. I only need the one of these, so. It is a very expensive item, but definitely worth it. Right, let's oh, let's not chuck our philosopher's stone everywhere. We're going to need that. My wrench. Click on there. You'll see I've got two interface slots. The first one I'm going to use on is the quick sort module, and what basically that is going to do, anything that you put in that chest, it will pull all the items out and sort them where they need to go. It's quite simple. Uh, there's one other thing that I need in here, and that is an item. Is it an item sink? I think I'm gonna. Go, I think I'm gonna go with an item sink. I need cactus green. Uh, I need iron gears. Okay, that's fine. I do have some cactus kicking around the place. 
I'm going to smelt that up just now. Misc crap. Let's teach this, uh, this to my transmutation table. Uh, let's get that in there. In fact, let's get some more. I will need more item sinks actually, so probably I'm going to use uh, more cactus in the meantime. So let's go and get some more. Buy one obsidian, okay, and then get eight cactus from that. Lovely. I'm going to need another. I'll put another two bits of coal in there, and I'll actually get the other obsidian full of cactus as well. I'm going to need a lot of this cactus green stuff. Oh, that's not where I want to put it. Uh, I can probably teach my table about cactus green. So that's eight as well. I could have just gone straight to that. In fact, we're going to do that now. Cactus green, thank you. There we are. And let's get ourselves some more gears. This time it's an iron gear we're, we're after. It's not a uh, a diamond one. It's not that expensive this time around. I did transmute a lot of copper and some silver to get myself a lot more iron, as you can see, because I'm going to need that. Blank module. Redstone. Cactus green. Thank you. That's my item sink. Let's put that in that chest. And it's just getting dark again. I want to set this to default route, yes. Anything that this system does not know where to go is just going to stay in that chest. Which is exactly what I want to happen, then I'll sort it all out. Um, I'm flat out on the floor at the minute. Oop. Did I just get excited and press a button there? I could have done. It's quite possible. So now we've got our input chest sorted. I actually want to get this lot sorted now. So let's go uh, very, very gingerly out here. Have a look around first, make sure there's no, no creepers, no zombies kicking around. Right, what I want in here is a item sink module. So I need four item sinks, and I'll need four Mark II extractor. Um, modules, but I'll get to them in just a second. What I'm going to do now is... Have I, do I have enough? Yes, I do. Oh, no, I need, I need four iron gears. One, two, three, four iron gears. Well, that's, that's wood, anyway. Three, four wooden gears. Stone, I don't have, oh yes I do. Four stone, and iron. Four. Four iron gears. Four blank modules. What am I doing? I could just put that in there anyway. And capture screen. One. Oh, what's going on? What is going on? I've messed this up. Two, three, four. Four item sinks. Very nice. Let's go and uh, install them. And oh, oh. Uh, what? What would? Right. Let's install them, and I'll tell you what we need to do. First is this item sink in there. Item sink in there. Item sink in there. And the last but not least, item sink in there. Uh, I'll get to that in just a second, in how to set them up. First, I'm going to make the extractor ones. The extraction modules. Extractor, extraction, X, X modules. And I need the Mark II version, which is a gold gear on top of an extractor module. Um, I need four of these, remember. So four gold gears, it's quite expensive. I need far more iron gears. Lapis. Okay, we can do this. Got iron there. I need some more lapis, please. I'll need the gold as well. 
Oh, well, lapis. Lapis in there. Golden just there. Um, wood. One, two, three, four gears. Oops. I've created just a little bit too many there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And last but not least, oh, oh no, I don't want to do that. Oh no, no, I need eight iron gears, don't I? Oh, goodness gracious me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, cobble. One, two, three, four. An iron. Oh. One, two, three, four. Gold. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So I've got the iron gears that I need to be able to craft what I'm going to craft. Um, I I don't want them all up there because that that's that's just silly. Black modules, redstone, redstone. No more redstone. It seems. Oh, it seems we've got no more redstone at all. This is not good. Um, nickelite is classed as fuel. Let's burn that and get some redstone. Oh my goodness, that actually created quite a lot of of fuel there. A lot of redstone. Okay, so redstone there, there, and there. Lapis there, there, and there. Next, the extraction modules. One, two, three, four. And with the golden gears on top of that. One, two, three, four. Done. Now that is wonderful. That's what it is. It's, it, it, it's amazing. We're going to put them in there. I will explain how everything works very, very soon. Just bear with me while I set everything up here. Basically, the difference between Extractor Mark 1s and Extractor Mark 2s are the speed at which things are extracted. Uh, the Extractor Mark 1s, I believe, is every 5 seconds, and the Extractor Mark 2 is every 1 second. Right, bear with me while I get everything ready for the second stage. Okay, so after sorting out my inventory just a little bit, and getting everything that I need to create my polymorphic item sink modules, and I'm going to need 7 of these, yes, a whole 7, one for each chest, uh, you craft the polymorphic item sink modules like this, orange dye, some uh, iron gears, more blank modules, and redstone. As you can see, I've got enough here to last me. And I'm going to do this first. I need dandelion yellow and I need rose red. I'm going to teach both of them to my transmutation table. Because I don't want to have to go out there again. I'm going to need to mix these to make orange dye. I'm going to want to teach that to my transmutation table because I'm going to need a lot of this. Just the orange dye around the sides there. Iron gear at the top, blank module there, and then the redstone there. Makes a polymorphic item sink module. I'm going to need hmm, 6, 6 times 4 is 24 pieces of orange dye. So, I mean, that's alright. A couple of bits of tin, I think, should do that. Oh, we seem to have a problem. Give me a piece of orange dye, please. Oh, that's yeah, that's plenty enough. Just the one piece of tin would have done that. Okay, let's put that one back in there. And there we have it. Seven polymorphic item sync modules. Let's get them installed. And basically what they do is they look inside the chest. And obviously there is no interface. But they look inside the chest and anything that comes along here that already has something in that chest, it will then put the item into there. So basically it's a self-sorting machine, which is great. I don't have to paint any uh, I don't have to paint any tubes, I don't have to do anything of the sort like that. Yep, I I just need to be careful about what I'm doing here and actually get through. One in each of these machines is enough. I'm gonna create seven more cards. Uh, modules and then that will be it. They are provider modules. 
and and honestly when when I've done these that will be it provider modules there they are gold gears oh no I need seven of these as well um, let's have a look see what we've got to smelt here we've got plenty of tin so let's get that in there tin gold only eight pieces of gold oh that's okay though because look what we have in here some tungsten which is amazing because it's worth um, two diamonds in EMC so let's get rid of that and get all that and oh yeah we're sorted now we're cooking with gas cooking with gas we are uh, I need seven one two three four five six seven there we are oh we don't have enough cobble there's a surprise again that we don't have cobble we should always have enough cobble okay there's the copper ones uh, iron oh god we uh, don't seem to have enough iron this time around but that's fine we can just make it remember one gold is uh, eight iron I believe but that's that seven gold gears black modules um, Lapis, um, blah, blah, blah. that uh, it is lapis. I was right. Oh, it seems to have taken my my thing out. Never mind. Provider modules. Don't need the brass in there. The bronze in there. Sorry. Redstone. Gonna need some more of that in there. And lapis. Lapis. Providers. Seven. No. Six. What? Oh, what happened? We were missing something, I don't know what it was, but we were, we were missing it. Another provider. Okay, so let's get all this set up and, uh, and you know, in the right place. Basically, the provider module means, and I'm going to switch that to leave one item per stack, I can pull anything out of them chests as long as I leave the last item that's in there so that I've got something to auto-sort into. So I'm just going to take everything and then uh, when I auto sort everything there'll be nothing there to uh, to sort it because I'd have taken it. So I want to be able to leave the one item per stack which is great. That's exactly what we need to do. It sounds like it's it's turned night time which is always bad because I've got a big hole in my wall at the minute. And uh, there's a zombie just turned up in the doorstep there and uh, I must I must vanquish this this zombie he must fear my sword it's never a good idea to really leave a, a massive hole in your wall as you are building things especially at night time right everything should be fine now everything should be set up um, there is one more pipe, a provider pipe actually, uh, basic logistics and a glowstone, but I'll get that, I'll do that in a second, I'm just going to make sure everything is, you know, all clear out here, which it is, which it is, that's good, this is very good, and do I have time to explain this? I think I do. Right, the item sync modules, what I'm going to put in here is the stuff that wants let me have a look at what kind of machine it is a macerator okay what I'm going to put in the item sync module here is the stuff that I want macerating same with that in here I'm going to put the stuff that wants smelting uh, namely the dust that's going to be created by these and same with that like I said the extractor mark 2 will uh, aid by pulling the stuff out of the machine at a rate of one per second rather than one per five seconds if I were to use a Mark 1 extractor module. When that's done it will then say to itself "Oh, we have a chest for this we actually have somewhere to put this because it'll know that because of the uh, provider pipe on the back the uh, the Mark 2 the Mark whatever it is on the back 
uh, with the polymorphic item sync. The item sync will recognize that bars go in this. Uh, it will say to itself, oh, we've got some gold bars in here. If you've got any gold, bring it over here. The provider module is well, or what helps me with the provider logistics pipe. And uh, I will get to that. Um, now, actually, I think it's a good idea to uh, to get in there now with that. So I want uh Oh, we seem to have hit exactly where we want to be. And because this is an intersection, I need my basic logistics pipes. And I've created an intersection. Or I'm going to. So I'm just bringing that down here. Oh, I can't get through now. So that was not a good idea. Uh, and I want the provider pipe just there, so I'll need a piece of glowstone for this. Precious items, please. Remember, a piece of glowstone on top of a basic logistics pipe gives me a provider pipe. Provider logistics pipe. Theory has it that uh, I'm just going to block that off there, and I'm also going to block them off there. Theory has it if I press a, if I click this wrench on that provider logistics pipe, I have access to my whole network now. I, I have accidentally done the wrong one. I don't know what I'm doing. A provider logistics pipe is not for that at all. But I do have one. I will definitely use one of them in the future. Um, let me have a look in here. Ah, there, there it is. A request pipe, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Two gold gears. Two gold gears. I'll be back when I've crafted them. Right, I've got what I've needed. Uh, I've got what I've needed. I've got what I needed. Um, uh, two gold gears and my basic logistics pipe it gives me the right pipe this time. I promise. The request logistics pipe. Let's put the request logistics pipe on the end there. Let's block this off. And in theory, what I should now be able to do is get into every single chest. I right-click on there, and I can see going through there. I've got access to my thorncraft, my uh, cables and and such, my my precious items, my bars, um, my misc my misc crap, um, my precious stuff, still my blocks. Yes, this is good. Um, is there anything I'm missing? I don't think so. I'm getting pretty much everything there. Let me have a look for archaeologist stuff, just to make sure. Yeah, there it is. All the stuff's here. So that's wonderful. That means that everything is connected right. Everything is set up brilliantly, wonderfully, awesomely. What I'm going to do is get myself some cobblestone and uh, sort out this mess I made at the back here. By oh, just filling this in here. Um, do I? Yes, I really do need to go down there, actually. And fill in all this nonsense. there. I, I very much doubt I'm going to have to come back down here. If I do, then uh, it's my own problem. And I will sort it out when, when needs be. But until then, we're okay. Some coal there. I don't really care. I just want to get this sorted. And, uh, oh, there we are. Um, I don't want this showing either. I don't want any of this showing. I don't want any of this showing, thank you. We look okay here. Uh, and we look to have more of a square room again, but we do still have to sort this out here. Uh, and I may want to actually... I think I am going to do that, you know. Just knock that off there. Knock that off there. Um, break through here just for a minute. Knock that off there. I'm going to want to go up another layer with this so I can hide it successfully. Thank you. So there. Our chest room is our chest room again. The only thing is I've got to uh oops. There we are. There we are. Doosh. Doosh. Got all this stuff here. Oh. Doosh. There we are. So we're back to normal. You can see a little bit of uh, pipage at the back there, but, you know, all in all, I think it looks good. I think it looks brilliant. I think we've uh, 
we have sorted this out and I'm going to test this because testing is is for testing purposes let's go up to oh no, oh, no. let's go back and get some uh, some wood I think we need more than that to be honest oh I keep slapping stuff with my sword something is seriously going to break soon if I keep doing that let's jump out here have a look around, make sure nothing's going wrong everywhere. We seem to be okay. Um that 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 will do for now, I would think. It looks um it doesn't look particularly brilliant, but it will do. My little outhouse for my pipage and wireage and stuff like that. Very good. Very good indeed. Now let's. Oh! Last but not least. Blam! And, you know, it looks as if nothing's ever happened in here. Everything is full. Everything is full. Uh, heat is, is up. It's lovely. It's good. It's going well. It's going well. Right, let us, let us test. I've got some iron ore just sat here. Oh! That's the point. We haven't actually taught our system what to actually do um, for for testing purposes I haven't got any R's but what I'm going to do is I'm going to blast my way into the back of here again I'm going to grab my Billcraft wrench and for testing purposes I'm going to get one of each R just for testing purposes I'm not going to keep these don't worry why can I not do this why will it not let me write? Come on now. Stop being silly. Oh. Come on. What are you doing? Why is it not letting me... Right, bear with me a second. Right, this doesn't sound very good. I'm being slapped by a, a thorn. Ow. That, that that was quite painful, and I'm very nearly dead. So let me go back into my house because I'm going to die. I didn't realise that it was that time of night as I tried to do that. It's quite silly of myself. Let's go to bed. In the morning, I will go down and get myself some food before I go back outside. And I will also sort myself out so I've got my sword on my inventory at all times. Hmm, food. Not much cooked, but never mind. I think that should be enough to sort myself out. Yes, it is. I've got one of each R, thanks to uh, NEI and cheat mode. Like I said, I'm not going to be using any of these R's, so don't worry. They are just purely for uh, using them. Just watch. You'll see what I mean. Make sure there's no creepers creeping. No, this is good. Right, this is what I'm going to put into the macerator. Iron ore. Gold ore. And remember there's a picture that comes up. Silver ore is going to get macerated. So it's tin. So it's copper. So it's copper. I don't know which one it is. I don't think it's that one. So let's get rid of that. Ah. I, I somehow have brown wool. Um, Put that away. Um, Okay. I think... Get, get rid of that man. Um no copper. Okay, so that looks good there. Iron. Oh for God's sake. Right, bugger off now, you're annoying this crap out of me. Trying to just trying to sort this out. Come on. Let me. Gold, silver, tin, copper. Is that the right tin? I don't know. We will s we will soon find out. Let's have a look at the tin. Oh, no, I can't do it whilst I'm in this screen. That's why I couldn't do it last time, by the way. Tin. Uh, it looks like that kind of tin. Yes, I've got the right kind of tin. That's good. So we've done that now. We've got them. 
uh, and they're all sorted with the item sync and the extractor and everything is going to go into there first and then everything is going to get sent over to here which is where we're going to be macerating we're going to get rid of all the ores, not my ores because they're mine they're not any eyes and we're going to go to the dusts now and we want what we want is silver dust iron gold copper tin and that's it in the item sink we're going to put you know them in there again very nice loads of stuff going in here remember and that is done put all that back in there I don't believe I I cheated anything in by accident um, what am I doing I want to go back on recipe mode thank you thank you NEI for helping me out with that demonstration uh, there we are we're all done we're all set we're all sorted now I am going to do a little bit of a test. I'm going to go down here and see exactly how much iron we have in our chest. I don't think we have any, to be quite honest. I could be wrong, but no, I'm not. We have eight pieces of iron in total. Bars in there. Okay. Let's go back up to the top now. Look in here. Hmm, nothing. Okay, let's get iron ore in there. Is it going to get pulled out? Yes, it is. It should get pulled out into one of these macerators. Not there yet. Not there yet. There it is. That is not where we want it to go. Hmm. And in fact, we can probably remedy that right now. Actually. Because I've set the extractor modules up wrong as well. Because I'm a clown. Let's go to the extractor modules and I'll show you what I mean. The extract orientation is from the side. Let's put that in there. Extract from the side. It may be that I have to actually reorientate this so uh, everything going in actually does go into the top. Let's have a look. Yeah, you see the iron. Oh, that's, that's a shame that. That is a real, real shame. Um, hmm. bear with me because I'm going to have to change these pipes over to the top and around here they're going to have to go into the top they've got no choice I'm probably going to uh, want to maybe look at yeah maybe look at bringing them this way if I can we'll see we'll see but bear with me and I'll I'll get back to you okay so I have sorted it out now it's going into the top of the machines rather than the side uh, the backs so it should, in theory, be working now. Let's have a look see how many bars we've got. We've got 18 ingots. Um, as I was digging around, I found some more iron. So I'm just going to test it out with that. See if it goes, first and foremost. It has gone. We should see it enter here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, here it comes. Iron gone into the macerator as you can see the dust is flying over there the uh, the dust is turning into iron which is then coming out and being pumped down to uh, where the polymorphic item sync module is asking for it which should be the bars chest and there we have it 10 new iron ingots that have been added to there so let's go along here now and just manually sort everything out I've just done that. Just go through and, and sort everything here. And I'm going to go back upstairs. And last but not least, I'm going to put all the stuff in here that I really don't want. Oh, I do want that though. That's pretty silly. That there. So there's all this stuff here that it doesn't know what to do with. Okay, so let's take this out 
and go and random uh, go and randomly sort it out. No, go and actually sort it out. If we randomly sort it out, we could end up with it anywhere, and we don't want to do that. So redstone belongs in there. We all know. Um, my wood belongs in there, which is fine. My bullcraft wrench belongs in the tools. Um, so does my basic logistics pipe, provider's logistics pipe, diamond transport pipe, and my bat box. All them kind of items go in there. Uh, now I'm left with this. Uh, and actually, if we uh, take our bullcraft wrench back again for just a second, I can once again, you know, get anything from this uh, this interface here, which basically is connected to my entire chess network now. I'm going to get this stuff, I'm going to sort this out as well. I've got some pipes, uh, some cables. Let's put them in there, them in there, them in there, them in there. I think that's it. Uh, no archaeology stuff, I don't think there's any Thalmcraft stuff. Any bars? Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, there we are. Uh, some precious stuff, some redstone and lapis. We We also have some miscellaneous crap in a stick and orange dye. We've got some rubber, some rubois, glass, cobble, that's it. That is it. We've we've literally sorted everything out now. I can go mining with with no problems. No problems at all. I can go mining in the morning. That is. I don't want to get caught out in the in the in the night. I don't want creepers blowing me up everywhere. Let's go and have a look at my um, archaeology workbench. You can see, oh, does it like slowly lose that as well, or, or, or am I just? I don't know. Have I messed it up? Have I not done it properly? I probably. I have probably done, not done it properly. Uh, well, anyway, guys, I have been the top man. I am going to have a rest now, and I'm going to uh, eat some fodder at the table. And uh, I will see you guys in episode 8. Uh, and I will reveal the name of the dome in episode 8 to anybody who has come up with a name. Because I, obviously, you haven't seen the episode yet. So, uh, I typically record two in front. So, um, I will reveal the name of the dome in the next video. Until then, guys, I've been the top man. Papa Smurf, stay safe.